Adrian Christie, Chair of the National Governing Body CEO Forum. Just explain to, to us a little what it's about. Well, the, the aim of the forum is to effectively come together as a collective group of sports. There are 39 national governing bodies of sport that have come together to, to champion the work and value of what we do. Um, last summer we commissioned the piece of research from the Sport Industry Research Centre which was designed to, to really make a very strong statement about what sport delivers in this country, um, how it transcends across not just sport but across various um, areas such as health and, and education um, and what we've been able to demonstrate here is a, is a significant impact that, a, that governing bodies play on our sector. And of course the state of play includes some quite um, eye-catching figures if you like. It does, um, you know I think the, the most standout for us is that sport in this country just couldn't happen without 1.9 million volunteers. Um, we have almost 300,000 competitions for, for people of all ages and all abilities across those sports. Um, the value of volunteering is worth £4.9 billion to the sports economy in this country. Um, 1.8 million people are members of sports clubs, that's a million more than the political parties, the main political parties put together. It's, it's quite a powerful position um, and it's, it's a really strong, compelling story that we want to tell to whoever is in government, whether it's now or in the future, that, that governing bodies have a, a massive role to play for sport in this country. And what is the key message that you would say to, for example, the, 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 the parties competing for, for the next government that comes from, from your organisation and from yeah. sport in general? I think, I think for, from sport in general, we, we have a, a huge role to play going forward. Um, in the last six years, we've, we've all enjoyed um, a national governing body focused investment strategy. Um, if we are to continue to sustain the, the huge impact that London 2012 um, made on, on, on sport in this country, um, then, then I think that, that we've, we've absolutely got to try to protect that position. From a badminton perspective, you know, we saw pre-London um, a, a minimal take up, if you like, of our, of our national schools championships um, since London. Um, through a combination of partnerships from commercial to public sector to private sector. Um, we've delivered now 32,000 young people every year um, playing sport in schools. That's a phenomenal uptake um, and that's, that interest is, is about it being sustainable as well. So I think going forward our key message to government is that if we want to continue to deliver sport in this country we have to ensure it's sustainable and the sustainability um, element of that we would really be championing comes through national governing bodies. And it's not just sport for sport's sake but as you say it comes across a whole range of disciplines, education, health, literacy. Yeah there's some, I mean, some fantastic research out there that shows the attainment records of young people in schools by playing sport. We, you know, we, we're all horrified, I think, when we look at statistics around the growth in obesity levels among, amongst particularly young children. Um, and, and what we're saying is that, that sport can transcend across, across all of those government departments. Um, and if there is, if there is a, a way for us to influence and support that, we really want to. You know, we're, not, we're not saying that this has to be about sport for sport's sake. What we're saying is that we want a, a single vision for sport that starts with young, ki young, young children in schools and goes right the way through, whether it's a habit for life as people get older or whether it be, whether it be medalists. Um, but what we have is, th is the infrastructure through our clubs, through our volunteers, through our competitions, um, to really make a, a, a more powerful impact going forward and, and, and that, that's our key message. And, and just finally, do, do you think sport is taken seriously enough by governments at national and local level? Um, I think it is. Um, I think the, you know, before, before London 2012, when, when London won the right to host um, the Olympic and Paralympic Games back in 2005, I think um, both locally and central government became really quite excited. You only got to look at you know, when the, the Olympic torch was, was doing its rounds around the country, it galvanised local communities and local authorities to really come together and, and get behind a, a Games that was going to be held in the capital. And subsequent to that, um, the, the enormous growth that sport and, or governing bodies are seeing amongst their sports, um, whether it's more coaches, whether it's more competitions, whether it's more schools engaged, shows that, that sport has a really key role to play. And, and we, we just really hope um, that our call to action is heard by government 
um, because we believe that, that we can continue to work with all the key stakeholders, including local and central government, to make, make this something that, that, that continues for, for many, many years to come.